Okay, so this may or may not be a very long video. Depends on how I edit it, but I do have one objected for today's video. Seeing if this board still works. So this is a Asus M3A7B or something like that board from the um, AM2 days. So basically, this is a board I got used on eBay a while ago. Well, a, a long while ago, because I actually made a video, which I have not edited or realistically posted anywhere. I might do that. I might edit it, and we'll see about stuff. But basically, this is a board with a Phenom 9950 Black Edition. And the whole reason why I bought this system, or this board was to experiment with overclocking. Just trying to see how much can I get this thing to work to the point that it either dies or whatever. But you may notice that it's not in a system. So what I'm going to be doing right now is testing to see if this thing still works because the last time I used it, it did not. But it could have been because the original memory that I had with this failed on me. And you might be wondering, what memory? Is it that one? No, it's not that RAM. It's actually one that I use as a decoration for this thing. I mean, it looks nice, but yeah, this is the RAM that failed me. It's the OZZ RAM that was really popular back then, but also, you know, at that time they were not that reliable. So I guess these ones just failed on me because I did try to test them on another DDR2 system. They just didn't work. So yeah, now that just chills up there. And you might be, might be wondering, how am I gonna be testing this thing? Well, with these two, well, this one gigabyte sticks from another system I have, that actually, I've checked that these two still work because I had a four gigabyte kit on the system, but that thing failed. So, yeah, that system is down to 2 gigabytes, but it's fine. I mean, I might just still get another two more sticks of this and put them in that system. But for now, we're going to be using these two sticks to test this thing. Just to see if, if it was just the memory that was causing the computer to no longer work. I just want to know if this system still works. So, let me just go ahead and take out this stick of RAM. Take that out. And knowing that the the way these are color coded, I think what I'm gonna just do is put them on the same slots. Cause if you go, cause like especially at a t at a few times, some of these boards, okay, wrong way, some of these boards had you put the ramp together just so that you can use them. Okay, that's one gigabyte in there. And then we're going to be adding two gigabytes, which by today's standards aren't, isn't great. But if, if I do find out that this system works fine, I am planning to get it eight gigabytes of RAM because they're cheap on Amazon. Of course, you might just say, well, why not get it much more better RAM? It's so much. They're 40 bucks for eight gigabyte kits of this board's generation. So like, yeah, but anyways, this one gigabyte stick doesn't work either. So I just used the for storage. So let me just go ahead and just finish everything else and we'll see if the system still works. All right, I got it set up. I have the 1015, the system, the RAM, a cooler, my old power supply. And this Dell monitor ready and I have this just to see the consumption of this thing I remember this thing consumed a lot of wattage so yeah but yeah hopefully this thing still works because I have to use an adapter for it because this is a VGA display only so yeah VGA, VGA adapter it is so now we just plug this bad boy in hopefully Nothing bad happens. All right, it's been plugged in. Oh God. 
right? There is a green LED. Oh my god, why am I scared of this shit right now? Oh god, where's the power LED? Oh shit, what did I press? Not gonna nothing. Okay. Okay. It's on. Oh. What the hell? It works! Okay, so it was just the memory. Bruh. It was the RAM all this time that fucking made this thing not work again and work before. So I just needed to replace the RAM. Okay, we're booting up to Windows. Which is what's currently installed on, wait, we're on that SSD. That's my original SSD, by the way. That was for my main system at one point. Why are we booting up to Windows? <laughs> How much wattage are we pulling? 102, 99. Hmm, not bad wattage. Although, considering that that's a 1050, that thing does have external power. Maybe that might be the reason why we're not pulling that much wattage. <laughs> okay. Well, this is probably going to be just a short video. <laughs> but yeah, I got nervous just because this thing is a bit old and stuff. And I, and I haven't used it for a bit. The power supply I'm talking about. I was so nervous that it was probably going to blow up. <laughs> oh god. Because I've seen, I've seen videos, man. But yes, we are booting up. We're consuming 140 watts. Just loading windows. Loading windows, man. <laughs> but hey, at least this reassures me that this board actually still works. So let me just really quickly check if everything is showing up. Okay. Yep, there we go. It detects it. AMD Phenom 9950 quad core processor. It detects the two gigabytes of RAM. And the SSD, and even the 1050. Hell oh, yeah. Nice. <sighs> well, this reassures me that the system actually works. And right now we're pulling around 120 watts, 115 watts. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend you using the system anymore because yeah, the power consumption is a lot, but also, you know, it's just unsupported, mostly just because of a few things, and especially considering that this thing can probably only run up to Windows 10. Yeah, good luck with that. But yeah, that shows that it works. Now, what one thing I want to do real quick before I do probably end the video is run a benchmark or like something real quick just to see if everything works fine so let me just go ahead and grab a benchmark real quick and yeah all right so i installed unigen valley oh god damn it all right let's try again mother at least this one got is able to work so let's see 4040 by 900 which is this displays thing anybody anyways medium settings now turn off motion blur all right submitting to the birds not possible we want to, I don't care all right so let's go ahead and run this to see what this thing can do you know the process of this loading takes a while mostly just because of the processor because yeah that's one thing that you do benefit from a newer computer the snappiness of it but also an ssd which this thing does have but yeah also could be because of the cpu being a bit older and stuff because it is a quad core cpu but it is an older quad core cpu so like okay there we go that's loading Okay, so yeah, not bad frame rate, utilization, 
Yeah, the 1050 is doing fine. Probably because of this display. Oh, I saw some glitching there. Yeah. The 1050 is not doing too badly, although there is some like glitchiness. So there could be some pro like s CPU not giving it a much like a lot of data. Yeah, because it's still glitchy. So, I mean, this is one of the newer Unigine ben benchmarks that came out like in 2017, if I remember right. So it makes sense that it might be struggling for this computer. Although I'm curious how this this would do with 1080p with a 1060 3 gigabyte. Because, yeah, this computer's not getting the 1050. This one is going to be getting a 1063 gigabyte when I officially build a computer. Wattage, close to 200 watts. So I'm curious how it would do when the 1060 is involved. Man. Close to 200 watts, so for this computer. Just one more scene and then the benchmark finishes and we get a score. <laughs> but yeah, there, are, there is some stutter happening on here. Mostly just because probably the CPU isn't giving much data enough to the 1050 or what am I saying? Like, you know, not providing too much data for it. So it's kind of bottlenecking it probably somewhat. Alright, so we have a 504. Oh no, 504. What the fuck? 5604. That's max 98% of the GPU, so it wasn't too huge of a bottleneck. Although it could be because this thing is clocked at 2.6 gigahertz, so maybe overclocking it a bit will help it. Will help it. This computer is still running. I just have to get it more RAM because yeah I think that could also probably be the reason why it was like glitching because two gigabytes is not enough for a lot of stuff these days. Not even like even eight gigabytes is starting to get to that point.